Hey everyone, welcome back to EU4, the Commonwealth here in Lex Talionis 2. We're currently just stomping the Ottomans. It's really, it's not even funny. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go right in there, kill them. Uh, we're gonna take it. Actually, yeah, we're gonna take a uh, straight crossing, but that's fine. They have no morale at all. That's terrible. The Ottomans are really weak. That is just. Uh, that's, it feels wrong, too. Uh, it's just sad, really. I don't know. But yeah, we finally sieged Corfu, so let's actually get this guy, give him a leader, really, and go to bigger. No, just fucking walk. Jesus. Right, he has a ship. He has this one mother having ship. Hopefully, uh, Byzantium can do something about this, because he's just trapped 20,000 of my troops. And I don't, I need a naval presence down here, I feel like. Because even the Ottomans only have one ship, but that's... <laughs> That's enough to give me headache. I uh, hate that. Alright. So Protestant Zealots will spawn 100%. Well, okay, let's give this guy a general then. If they're gonna spawn 100% chance, then we at least should be ready. Well, there they are. Well, that was really... It was the best timing ever. Alright, so yeah, they'll have no chance. And then hopefully they'll stop annoying me. Cool. So they're destroyed for now. Cool. And we can actually regain some manpower. I'm very happy. So that it's not completely useless. So, Crimea, how are you doing? Are you ready to uh, peace out? Kuchelli has been sieged. Wow, that was quick. Alright, so, Kuchelli, you're gonna go to Byzantium as well. We're gonna, just gonna feed our vassals so much land. It's probably gonna be overextended, but... Ah, oh, fine. Whatever. We can station our troops here, can we not? Certainly can. Oh, this is also a uh, food province, interesting. Somebody has died. I don't care. Alright, Crimea. What's what's up? What's wrong with you? I guess I could give this stuff to Muscovy. Has he started coring Novgorod yet? He still has not cored Novgorod. Uh. I don't know if I want to overextend them then. Nah, it's fine. Crimea, you'll just give me uh, Theodoro. He wouldn't even accept this just yet. Okay. That's fine. We'll wait. We'll wait. He's not even putting up the fence, really. Oh, and our troops. Right, so uh, we already started colonizing. Very cool. Iron is what we found. Mercantilism is obviously the right way to go. Hudavendiga has been sieged. Let's go to Bigger. If you may. Excuse me? What's... What's what's the problem? Why are you going this way? Oh, Ankara. Is that it? Oh, I hate this food system. It's so stupid. It makes no sense. It's it's a great idea, but I honestly think it's implemented very badly. I don't know. It's just... It feels so wrong in so many ways. Oh, and there it is. Look at this. Serbia has formed. Um, okay. Look at that. Very lovely. I don't remember that they occupied this province. That's a shame. But that's fine, I guess. Doesn't really matter to me. Alright. Oh, look at this. These guys actually brought over troops, but they have no morale at all. Zero. Cool. And this is also a claim of Byzantium, so let's get that one as well. And obviously transfer occupation while we're at it. Let's see what the Ottomans say. They should accept. Alright, that's actually more than 100. Alright, fine. Um, how about this then? That would work. This would work. Alright, so I'll just have to occupy some more stuff. And then they'll uh, happily accept. Probably you want to get the better general. It's just a little faster. You're gonna get this one. You're gonna go straight to Ankara. Cool. The cool thing about these guys being supportive 
because I give them control, because I give Byzantium control of this land, they still support this. I think I like this. I think I'm always going to do it like this. I do the fighting, and my vassals do the, uh, well, protecting. But I guess on the way, I should split up quickly. Just to get everything on the way. As well. And they're doing the great naval battles here. Two ships against one. It's amazing. We're ready to get a new technology. Uh, I think we're gonna wait, but what I will do is get reinforcement speed. That sounds great. Yep. Yeah, we still have three years, so it's fine. Continue on over here. You go here. Amazing. Alright, Crimea, are you are you ready to peace out now? You didn't want to peace out before. At least not to the terms I offered you. He still doesn't want to peace out. Wow, stubborn little bitch. Alright, whatever you whatever you say. It's your choice. Alright, so Ankara's the big fort in the north. Um You're gonna take Konya on the way, so you're gonna take Karaman, which you can't, so let's start each other, and you're gonna take the others, I think. Oh, he actually has uh, an army. Interesting. We'll see how big this army is. He'll arrive in Bozok. Okay, I'm not really too concerned about Bozok. Like, his Trebizond actually does have morale, still. Just knocked out their army, interesting. There we have Bulgaria and Byzantium waiting for him. Okay, 25,000 men. Interesting. Well, I'm not going to deal with them just now. I'm just going to siege this place. And I'm probably going to send these 20,000 men down. Yeah. He's not going to siege faster than I am. So yeah. Lucky Serbia. Um, actually, this guy is orthodox. He is... Hungary wants a marriage, of course. He's himself, and he wants to marry a distant... When actually, no, I'm not allied to Hungary, am I? But he does like me a lot. Ah, damn it. I have to decline, though. I don't want to be over my uh, diplomatic relations. I don't like being over my diplomatic relations. And I probably will give this to Bulgaria. Meh, maybe not. Maybe not. So we have called for peace. Well, shit. Um, right, we have the war goal for too long. He always gets more money, so I always have to ask for more. Cleansing of heresy against these guys. Okay. Do we have a chance even of being becoming elected? No. Let's spend some influence points. Still the leagues are going on. Oh, that's actually somebody voting for us. Right, Bohemia is voting for us. Interesting. So, right, we have a personal union over an elector. Look, these two guys are voting for France. Wow, cool. That's, uh, that's amazing. All right, yeah, right. We have sieged this province. So, let's attack. See what he does. 15 frontliners. We have 12. We have more cannons. He has more cavalry. Shouldn't really be a Yeah, oh my god. What is this with his morale? Is he bankrupt or something? It might yeah, bankruptcy. Minus 100% morale. Yeah, okay. Wow. Poor Ottomans. Somehow I pity them. I don't know. I really don't know why, but somehow I do. Alright, let's build something. Let's build some fleets. Can we build some ships? We can build 12 ships. Um, right, so we have... 10 transport ships. Frigates. Trade ships. What do they call trade? Are they called trade ships? Trade ships. Frigate. Let's build some trade ships then. Um, those are... Let's build two trade ships. And six galleots. Kinda need a fleet. Five. 
five, six. I'm probably faster if we build over here. And then... One, two, three, four, five. Alright, oh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We should have 15, 15, and 10 transports, obviously. Theodorian Gentry is rising up. Okay. Definitely don't want them to rise up. <laughs> They're so weak. I don't even care. Alright, now it's kept actually ridiculous. You guys gotta freaking peace out, man. I mean... They keep getting more money. I can't... Alright, I should definitely take out... Alright, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. Take out Trebizond, because then I can peace out um, freaking Crimea. That's gonna make my life easier. And then I can much easier peace out the Ottomans. Yeah. I think that's the plan. Alright. And a new Emperor. Carl. Okay, still no League Wars though. That's basically all I'm waiting for. Ichil has been sieged. Good. So I think we're now just going to move on to Halep. And then we'll uh, leave it at that. Should be enough. Ottomans actually have an army here. But yeah, it's going to get crushed. Ah, actually they put up a fight. Interesting. Even though they have no morale, they can still siege stuff. Simply because they're so huge. Their army is so big. So that's definitely something to consider. Oh, we've been attacked here in Tura. But no match for our 6,000 men that we send to defend the colony. It's actually quite a lot of people. Look, we have 6,000 soldiers here. Um, but the colony... You know, is at how many men? 500. You know what? That would actually be a cool thing. If you could use manpower in order to colonize. That would be amazing. Because, I mean, I could just build troops, send them in here, and just colonize quickly. I mean, why shouldn't that be possible? I think that would be amazing. Maybe it's like, um, like a 50-50 trade-off. Like, um, use... Uh, five, a thousand manpower to get 500 settlers. I would still totally do that because we get 1,000 manpower that's unused. I would actually like to do that. Even if it's just, or even if it's like 1,000 1, uh, manpower for 100 settlers, I would still like to do that. I think that's, that's great. Yeah, it's actually, oh man. If only we had comet sense, of course. Now we have rebels again in Crimea. Hmm. <laughs> Development of ironworking. Okay. Crimean serves. Well, shit. Will you now accept? That's all I'm asking. Oh, he will. Great. Stupid idiot. So we get Theodoro. We'll only get 11 prestige. Eh, that's fine, I guess. I'll uh, we'll stop his thingies. Alright, fine. Yep. Was there anything else we can ask for? Not really. Release people, I don't care about that. Alright, fine. Out of the war. And I'll leave you with your rebels. <laughs> because I don't want to deal with them. Those are your rebels. Okay, these guys should probably go... Here. And you should probably go to Novgorod. Because that still isn't core, Jesus. Alright, Theodoro... Um, do you ever want to start coring this? We have war exhaustion. Full central, full cultural focus. What does that mean? Is that... Some... Is that an idea? Cultural focus. I have military, military focus. Um, yeah, I guess what the hell. We're just gonna do it. Doesn't matter. Start the core, it's fine. Alright, so he's now besieging Ankara. Nothing I really care about. Actually, you know what? I do care about it. Um, and then you can just go back to... Over here. Malborg. Well, we can actually walk quite far. Oh, look at that guy. <laughs> Fine. 
All right, Ottomans, are you ready to peace out? We have an extra... I think we're a courier controller. Okay, so he's ready to, to actually peace out. Hmm. Now, let's see. This would actually be more... Hmm, that he wouldn't do that. He would do just that. Right now. Um... Is this a fort? Let's actually check. If this is a fort, this is not a fort. Alright, but this is a center of trade. Yeah, we're gonna take who the Wander guy if possible. No, it's not. Okay, let's take that then. He'll accept. Fine, I'll take it. Go away. Yeah, we just got enough. Yeah, we got tons and tons of prestige from this. Um, also, our power projection is now at 100. Very cool. So you guys just go back, I guess. Um, you go down here. And you go like this. That's fine. Cool. Alright, so that was the war with the Ottomans. Really not interesting at all. So we have now Bulgaria over here. I wonder if we can already annex them. kind of wish we could. Because we don't need them anymore. Annex them, 175, yep, we could. All right, let's start annexing them right away. Um, so with the, uh, with Byz Byzantium, because, um, you know, they don't have any other cores. Hopefully, well, they do have a couple of claims, but that's nah, fine. If they actually start coring their stuff, they start coring all of this immediately. Cool, so they, they luckily have enough points. That's very nice, okay. So yeah, we can actually start integrating them as quickly as possible. And we're now the king of Greece. There you go. That's something. We can improve military technology. We will do that next year. Ah, still no wars. Oh, these guys are all afraid. I can feel it. Bohemia still has some cores. Who else these? Austria holds them. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to fight Austria, although I probably have to at some point. Okay, let's just get everyone together. No, please, the uh, the navy. Uh, except for transport, you can you can just stay here. I guess it's fine. All right there, we go. Thirty ships. Continue and go home at war, of course. Don't want my lovely ships to get destroyed. Okay, cool. Muscovy, you gotta start uh, coring. Still hasn't cored Novgorod. Jesus. It's just insane. How many points does he need for that? That's uh, ridiculous. Um, Mammal will no longer be seat of a cardinal. Uh, that's fine, I guess. And yes, I was right. We are Korea controller. Mm, so we could actually call for a crusade. But, I don't know. I'm not really interested, actually, in a crusade. But what we'll probably do is just get some get some uh, COVID actions here. Fabricate a claim and tin. Can I call for a crusade against Saxony? That would be amazing, actually. Against fellow Christians. Heretics or not? Okay. Hmm. Who is... These guys are orthodox. I can't do anything against them. I could have done Ottomans, but... Eh. I'm already at full manpower. Denmark wants to marry. Nope. Nope. Let's see who can marry. Let's actually check this out. Uh, for a marriage, of course. For my son. Marriage with Hungary. Random family members. Hmm. Let's check out Hungary. Who's gonna be your heir? Sigismund both. Or both. Hmm. Nah. I don't know. Doesn't seem that appealing to me, actually. Need to get rid of all my shitty little vassals. Just lost a ton of relations because we're no longer in a war together. But I can send them gifts, I guess. Yeah, probably. Um, they should be happy. 
Actually, they want a lot of gold. Alright. Oh, but we can improve that way more. Okay. Um, I think 26 relations are plenty. Yep. So we can now start integrating them. But that was the end of today's episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. It's Chief Trunker, signing off.